go sailing coronavirus style can't stop us i'm so stoked to go sailing right now it's like the only thing open and you know me i love sailing what's going on everyone alan here aka the bird bay today i am out sailing this whole coronavirus thing is finally slowly blowing over so our local uh, spot opened up to go sailing uh, I'm going sailing today and we had one of our uh, viewers, subscribers ask a question, say, hey, Alan, can you make a video on how to keep your parrot entertained, entertained, right, when you are away? I'm out from like 8 o'clock to 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., right? So I understand that most people are not going to be home all day to be able to hang out with their parrot, give them attention, or at least so they won't feel lonely. So that's a, that's a really good question and I want to talk about it today in this quick video. So basically what I would recommend in an instance like this is uh, number one, you know, if you're going to be away, make sure that when you're with your, when you're away, you have given your parrot plenty of toys in its cage and you want to figure out what toys it likes the best and you can have uh, those toys around the cage. Parrots really like foraging. So one thing that I do to keep Elfie entertained when I'm gone, like right now I'm gone for about four or five hours is we'll stick uh, or I'll stick uh, almonds or one of his favorite treats or like dried fruit inside a foraging ball and he'll be entertained for like one or two hours sometimes just trying to rip it open and trying to get to the foraging toy. Another thing that I want to talk about is, you know, it's not just about being able to be with your parrot because a lot of people, you know, they, they, they think that you have to have a parrot for a specific species, you know, like um, umbrella cockatoo has to be out for three to four hours a day or a, um, I don't know, a Senegal parrot has to be out at least two hours a day. It's not about just being out. It's about the quality time that you're spending with your parrot. It's not just about being out. So when you do come back and you've provided plenty of toys, plenty of stimulation, plenty of things for it to do, um, you want to make sure that when you bring it out, you don't just take your parrot out and just leave him on the stand to do nothing and be kind of by himself, so to speak, because uh, not all free time outside of the cage is, cre is created uh, equally, so to speak, right? Because you can have a parrot out and you know, it's not still not gonna be happy or mentally stimulated because you're not spending quality time with it. So a great thing that I would recommend in that instance is doing like a trick training to work with your parrot so that you know, you're giving it that one-on-one -on -one attention and you're spending time with your parrot as well, so to speak. That's gonna be super important. Um, so make sure you have plenty of toys, make sure that you are practicing trick training with your parrot, make sure that you know you are giving it plenty of things to do and stimulation and interacting with it when you are back. And you know, as a rule of thumb, I would say spend at least two hours a day uh, with your parrot or have it outside of his cage, give it at least 30 minutes to an hour of dedicated attention if you're hanging out. Um, if you're hanging out watching TV, you're gonna interact, interact with your parrot, or you are you know, doing something active, like doing laundry, whatever, just have your parrot on your shoulder. It's super important also if you, if you poop train your parrot so it doesn't poop on you, it doesn't make it as big of a deal, but that's also gonna be uh, important as well. So uh, make sure you have plenty of toys for your parrot, make sure you find its favorite toys, allow it to forage, entertain itself, and that should be good. And of course, best case scenario would be, you know, you have more than one parrot, they have a little flock, then in this case, they're totally not gonna be, uh, what's the word called, you know, they're, they're not gonna be bored. They're gonna have other flock members, you know, birds are social creatures, so they like to be around other humans, they like to be around other birds, that's the best case scenario. So if you have another parrot, great, but I understand most people uh, are only gonna have one. I know the headache that comes with just owning one, so imagine having two, right? So uh, totally get that as well. Uh, so yeah, if you can, you know, you would have another parrot, but that's gonna be more time you're spending individually with each parrot, you have to give them individual attention. So most people don't are gonna have two, so yeah, just make sure that you're giving quality time, you are spending time with it, 
uh, outside of the cage, quality time with it, not just neglecting it or putting on a stand for two, three hours and forgetting about the parrot. It's not good for their mental stimulation. Shake training your parrot, hanging out with it one-on-one, -on -one, um, taking her with you around the house at least to do chores with you or whatever you're doing as long as, as, long as it's gonna be safe. Those are all gonna be good options for you uh, when you're away, foraging toys, uh, good nutrition, uh, make sure that it's well-fed before you leave, make sure that you're back before it's like super hungry. Um, if you're gonna train it in the afternoon, you know, make sure that you don't go too long without your parrot not eating because that's also not good for your parrot. So just a couple things to think about and you know, we're here sailing today in San Diego. Um, yeah, so just a couple tips for you there. Talk to you guys next time. Looks like we got a boat coming in. Uh-oh, where is it, El? It's big, it's big, it's coming. Big boat somewhere. Time to head out. Talk to you guys next time.